Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, where it is day two, and I am clipping this at the very beginning of the July 4th episode because we have a little bit of backlog to take care of. I didn't want to miss any of these introductory days, and naturally this game is going to take longer to get through the introductory stuff than previous games. So. A new feature has been added to your game, Amiibo Camera. You can use Amiibo camera to, camera, camera to take pictures of town residents and Amiibo characters in the real world. So that's a pretty cool feature if you have an Amiibo card of your favorite character like I do, which hopefully you guys know who my favorite character is, um, you can take a picture in real life with your camera and have the Amiibo be there. So that's pretty cool. Um, here we have our options, the continue, new save file, amiibo camera, and cam why do I keep saying camera? Oh my god, I can't function, camera. And link HHD data, that is for Happy Home Designer, the um, 3DS game that is a, oh, what do you call it, a spinoff of this game, sort of, just an extra little fun game that I'm sure we will see eventually on my channel, but anyway, um, we can have up to four villagers in our town. We're not going to make a new one right now, though. We're just going to continue. I just wanted to get all of that out of the way. Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo uses Spot Pass to distribute presents and notifications about presents. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we get it. Yes, we will enable it. And why do we have to stare at this freaking gorilla every time we do anything in this game? So, just a quick warning, I'm only going to be playing about 10 minutes of each day for this first day, for July 4th's episode. So, you know. Anyway, it is July 2nd in Big Pimp in this particular recording. And just like in my last episode, um, I pointed out that Everything's going to be recorded rather than day of, one to two days in advance. So it's going to be just slightly different than my previous project, but, or projects, I should say. Both were the same. So, all right, I haven't had the chance to, yeah, you haven't explained anything that I'm supposed to do as the mayor because I was living in a tent last time I was here. So, oh my God, and we're going to meet. Pete. Get you open like those web toes. You know I spread those scrawny bird legs past the head. Ah, hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox. Well, thanks for gabbing my freaking ear off then. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Have fun, Pete. Um, really? Oh, no. I'm really sorry about this, but I could quite desperately use some assistance. Okay, well... Good for you. Read from Unknown Sender. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another. And now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. What? Okay, well, that's cool. We get blackmail immediately. Okay, triple question mark. Why? Okay. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick run through of the neighborhood and see if we got any new neighbors today. Um, obviously we have a house, we should probably go in it. Instead I just ran away like a doof because I forget things easily uh, when it comes to recording. Whoa! Oh thank goodness, well, hello as you can see. I'm a lamp, I mean I'm inside a lamp, rather important distinction. Alrighty, so this is part of the Welcome Amiibo update. Here we go! Um, really? You'll do it? Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Okay. So, what, what do I have to do? Oh, not that. Oh my gosh, no! Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in our house. And we're gonna lay down this lamp. Because our house is just so attractive right now. Oh my god, why are you always walking in on my freaking house? Uh, oh, yay, it's all finished. But yeah, we... Oh, thank you. 
Isabel gives you the same wallpaper every single time. She always gives you paw print wall, which is super cute. And she doesn't give you any carpet because she's too good for that. You dog, you. All right, yeah, 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 we got this. So basically what she's saying is the good thing about this game is that you don't have to have purchased a lamp to be able to turn the lights on. You now have a light switch. Yay, so we can make it light in here all the time. Uh, we're also going to put down this lamp and we're going to hang our wallpaper on the wall. So getting things ready. Wisp, the lamp spirit, remember? Wait, what? What? No, why isn't this working? Um, what was I supposed to do? I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, we're gonna leave that alone for now anyway because I wanna run through the neighborhood and see if we got any new neighbors. Running with my shovel. <sighs> Freaking Caesar. Can't believe we have this big- No! No! Every day there's a pitfall. And we fell for it this time. So once we slip into the habit of our daily routine, which will consist of finding fossils, um, catching bugs, you know, it, I kind of go with a different goal every day. Um, you know what? I don't think we have any new neighbors, but I, there should be some build spots. That's kind of what's different in this game compared to other games. You see where an animal is going to uh, move in in a big build spot rather than just like popping up one day like in the first game or having a sign. It's kind of cool. I like it. I don't know. Maybe that was in City Folk too. Honestly can't remember because I only played that game um, once and it was for YouTube. I mean I played it a lot but it's just hard to remember like the differences after a while. Ooh, there's a big beetle. Ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna catch him. Boom, yes. Okay, horn dynasty. So the other good thing is whenever you catch a new bug, you'll always know because it will say that um, new information has been added to your encyclopedia. So that is very helpful when you're not sure if you've caught something before, you'll know immediately. So, okay. Ah, not the money rock today. So yeah, I'm gonna not always do like the daily routine stuff on camera probably because it can get tedious, repetitive, and boring. But um, for today, I'm just gonna kind of show off how things are back, just like yesterday. And we're just kind of seeing if anything's different in town. Luckily, I don't think anything really differs much in the first couple days just because you are still um, getting the ropes, or yeah, I guess learning the ropes of having this brand new town that you're suddenly mayor of. Let's go talk to Isabel and see what she's got for us. Okay, so when we talk to her, we're all done unpacking. Okay. Oh man. Where the heck is your house? I don't see it anywhere. You never are home. Okay, this is the information hub of Big Pimp. Advice for living, requests from town citizens. Something that's really great is that town citizens can request specific projects to enhance your town, to theme it, to make it unique and the only thing that I kind of don't like about it is it's randomized, but, um, you know, still, it exists, so I'm happy with that improvement, at least. Okay, so this is where we come to change anything about our town, and the option she gives us is uh, advice for living here, citizen satisfaction, town tune, town flag. Problematic citizens. You can actually complain about people in this game. Now, it doesn't always work, but you can try. Or nothing. Uh, let's see. Advice for living here. Let's try one. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you're in a 
hurry, hold down B to talk faster. So like, she'll just give you little tips. I wish somebody would give me a tip on how to speak because I my mouth is not working. All right. Oh, she wants us to write a letter. So we can be a great friend. Okay. You know what? I, oh my gosh, I have the best letter idea. Okay. Yeah, 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 we know. So Isabel's kind of like the guru for if you're new to this game, if you're not sure what this is about or what to do. Um, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I own a house. Gain the approval of citizens. And... Oh, wow! I just... Everybody loves me immediately. Isn't that great? Okay. Oh, wait. No? What? 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 Hold on. What did she say? I thought she said I was at a hundred! Um... Oh, I'm only at fifteen?! What?! You guys suck! My neighbors don't like me. They're like, um... But then again, they met me yesterday. I thought she said you have a hundred and you... Like, I don't know what I was reading. But I was wrong. How disappointing. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and... Go up here. Go up to Main Street. We'll check out what's going on on Main Street, which is still nothing, really. Um, Main Street will change as we grow and as we change. The one thing I want to check, though... Well, the two things I want to check are the two shops. Able Sisters and Nookling Junction. Okay. So what do you... Oh my goodness! What is this crap? Come on now. We also need to make an effort with Sable at this point because she's still going to be painfully shy and ridiculous. Oh man. I gotta try on this mohawk. Yes! I have like no money, but I'd like to try it on. Oh my god! I look twice as stony as I did before. Okay, well, that was fun. Anyway, I don't have any money. I just wanted to see if there's anything I really want to earn while we're up here. Move out of my way! Sorry, she sucks! Okay, well, thanks for your excuses. I'm leaving. So you want to make sure that you start spending money in these shops as soon as you can, just because that will enable you to advance quickly, or more quickly, I should say, um, through the different variations of Main Street, the different options that you have within certain shops and certain areas. Oh, there's fishing pole today. Okay, so there's crap chair. The, what is this? Two BS chairs in here and that's it? Stupid. I have not taken a walk with my 3DS yet either, so I still cannot show off the fortune cookie, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna talk to Nook. And... Then I think I'll probably, honestly, after we talk to Nook and see what's going down with him. No! My home is so beautiful! We need 39,800 bells! Okay. Yeah, we know. So now he's telling us that we have to have home inspections for the HA showcase to make our house look really amazing, and that's about it. So without any money, we can't really do anything. So what I'm going to have to do is probably work to get a little bit of money off screen. Um, just because I am trying to put several days together into one episode. So, you know, I'm just going to do little by little. Oh, something I want to point out quickly is that up here you see the, the owl up on the bulletin board. Anytime there is a bird 
or an owl. There, if it's daytime, it'll be a bird. If it's nighttime, it'll be an owl. That means there's a new announcement on the bulletin board. And today's announcement is Big Pimp announces that Madam has assumed the role of town mayor. Let's look forward to her plans to enliven the town. And then there's our sweet message from yesterday. So that's just kind of a fun little addition to this game where it makes it more obvious when, oh, our perfect cherry tree's growing. It makes it more obvious when you have something to look at on there because events are announced on there. You'll see like the fishing tourney or the bug catching tournament or any of that stuff is gonna be on there. You know what we do have? We have meow coupons. So last stop of today, we're gonna go over here. Oh my god, what? Oh, I thought that was an- I thought that was like a big caterpillar for a second. It did not look like a bird to me. I was like, since when are there bugs over here? There aren't. I'm just too excited. So, okay, well, that furniture's BS. You're asleep. Let's go in here and meet who's in here today. So, these neighbors tend to repeat a lot. Oh man, here he is. Gulliver. I'm on a boat, bitch. We drinking Santana champ cuz it's so crisp. Oh, I really like it around here. I've been all over the world, but this campground is really Oh, is a real highlight. Yeah, well, I'm going to scare you. Ah, ah, okay. Let's order furniture. Um tropical. Ooh. Yes. Look at this furniture. All right, well, I don't really know what I want to do for our house yet. I'm kind of waiting for a theme to just come to me. See a Gulliver. We're not going to waste any more time with him because we'll be seeing him plenty in this game. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this particular session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in these fossils and uh, turn in some seashells and maybe a few bugs just for money and into the museum. Don't worry, I'll donate everything first before I won't just sell something that hasn't already been donated to the museum, so no worries there. But I am going to just try and make some money so that when we're back tomorrow, we will have a little bit more to work with. So, all right, I will see you in a bit, or in a second really, for July 3rd, everybody. Okay, so quickly guys, I'm going to tack this on here at the end. I was looking for the money rock and found the rock I was talking about in the previous episode. So what's this? The rock broke apart and something was inside? Every day you can find a rock that is actually a gem and our first gem is the emerald! Yay! So I don't really think there's anything we can do with it right now. But ooh, our clock tower is going off. You can use the emerald to customize furniture or you can just sell it for a lot of bells so that's just something I wanted to tack on here before we continue on to July 3rd. Hey guys it's Madam again welcome back and welcome to July 3rd in Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo! See if Isabel has anything new to say to us today. Yes we know. Yes we shall. Okay so in my previous recording on July 2nd, oh, what? Ooh, so, what? Someone new has moved in? No way, I didn't see the... Oh, I didn't even see his moving spot. We must have missed it yesterday. Okay, well, I managed to get some money and my pockets are full right now, or almost full. Um, I caught a couple new bugs, one of which I've already donated to the museum, but I wanted to show that off. Um, I wanted to show that off in the museum anyway. So I have these three new bugs. One is the horned dino. Oh, that's not new. Um, one of the bugs I caught last night that is new is um, a beetle, though. Emperor butterfly is new and fruit beetle is new. So those are both very common summertime, nighttime bugs. So, yes, let's go ahead and write a letter really quickly because I had a letter idea that I wanted to pursue. So, to Caesar. Oh, wait a minute. Dear Caesar? No. Freaking. No, what freaking Caesar? We're gonna say. 
Um, GTFO. How? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta change this up down here. Now, from, uh, your mom's ooh, face. Okay, cool. I hope Caesar just loves us after this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in our house. And we are going to give him the perfect gift. Can I please tell me I can gift this? Oh, yes, I can gift him the instruction manual. Oh, yes. So perfect. All right, can we use this yet? Woo! We can. There he is. It's Wisp. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. Trying to rape him. So y'all need to hide your kids. Hide your wife. Ta da! So you've summoned me, but I don't believe we've met. I am Wisp, the Lamp Spirit. Nice to meet you. So should we grant some wishes or what? Let's get into it. Wait, why am I all see-through? <laughs> Wisp is so cute. I am so, so happy that the franchise decided to bring Wisp back because we have not seen Wisp since the GameCube. So I do have an amiibo reader. We will be using that um, later on in this playthrough. We're not gonna use it today. Um, but that is basically what Wisp is here for, to read your amiibos. So you can keep the lamp in your house and he will do just that and grant you a wish for the day. So we will get into that later because we're running short on time today since we are doing a triple day episode. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh God. Ah! Oh God. Okay, 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 we can do this. Oh my god, no way! Oh. Whew. Oh man. Still freaks me out. I caught a tarantula! Wah! Destroy it! Oh my god, it took me freaking months to catch a tarantula when I first got this game. Like, probably, like, I don't even think I caught one until I'd had the game for a year. Oh my god, I'm so happy we caught that just now. Wow. Oh my gosh, welcome to Happy Home Showcase, where you can get points for having a cool house. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna run over- we're so close to the campgrounds, this is just been going to become a ritual. Um, of going and meeting whoever's over here, so. Why do you have this crap furniture out here every day? I don't want any of this. Oh, I know who's in here. Okay. Cool. Yee, looks so cute. It's Jingle. Oh, oh, this is your town. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute in his Christmas sweater. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's look at his furniture. Party wall. Lots of party furniture. Gift piles, I love those. So cute. Christmas in July, everybody. Alright, we still haven't bought anything with our Meow coupons, but I haven't really seen anything that I'm like, Oh my god, we have to have that, so I'm not worried about it yet. Uh, P.S. We only have like one space available in our pocket, so let's go. I want to start out this, well, we're already like, you know, halfway into this particular segment of today's episode, but I want to hold on, am I lost? Oh no, this is that upper- oh wait, then this person wasn't here before then. This must be the new neighbor. I wonder who it could- <gasps> Oh my god! Bianca! Hey, do you live in this town? I'm Bianca. I just moved here. You are so cute! <gasps> oh my gosh, she is like the cutest- She is a white leopard! No way! Oh! <laughs> She's so cute! Oh my gosh, so when a new neighbor moves in, they will not really talk to you, they'll just tell you that they need to unpack over and over again. 
So we won't really be able to interact with her until tomorrow, but oh my god, she's adorable. I'm so excited to have Bianca in our town. Okay, so what I started to say is I wanted to um, start off today's segment. Oh no way! I'm getting- <gasps> It's at a- ah! Oh god! Okay, 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 we can do this again! <laughs> We didn't do it. We failed. <laughs> Let's see how many times I can get interrupted from trying to start out with shout outs. That's what I've been trying to start out with. I wanted to give a shout out to my sister, Madam Toadstool, who designed my um, icon, the current icon you're seeing at the beginning of my videos. And it's on my channel right now of the Animal Crossing girl. That is supposed to represent me. That was designed by my sister. So big shout out to her um, for doing that. Also, I want to shout out. Oh my god, what? I keep seeing these freaking bugs even when they're not there. Oh no. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to run up towards the museum because then I can concentrate. I also want to give a big shout out to Mario Gamerable. A.K.A. Jasper for um, gifting me. Over a year ago now, I believe, um, he sent me back when I had a P.O. box. He sent me... Oh, I'm going to turn in. Yeah. Oh, wait! This is the rock! Yay! We get a sapphire today. Okay, I'm going to trade in meow coupons if I don't dig holes everywhere. Um, he gifted me the Wii U game Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival and it came with two Amiibos that we will be seeing in this project so I wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to him for uh, allowing us to be able to show that off because without him getting me that game you know I would have had to take care of it myself but instead I didn't even have to worry about it it was gifted to me and I'm really excited that this was the money rock just now I never ended up finding the money rock yesterday so oh shoot I can't pick any of this up yet though drop it okay um so big shout out to those two I have more shout outs but um oh oh that's right Okay, sorry. I am like the worst at keeping my train of thought when playing this game. If you guys have been around for a while, you already know that. But for those of you who are new, I am the worst person in the world at keeping the same train of thought while playing this game. So anyway, we're going to go over to the museum and turn in our bugs and look at what we've caught so far. And then we're going to sell whatever crap we have left over. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, I'll kind of um, just keep giving... Oh, uh, that's not really what I came here to do, but okay. Um, I'll keep giving shoutouts throughout this first week of episodes, probably, because I know that there are people who I wanted to... Oh, yes. Oh, good! This shows off the individual thing that I was talking about a couple days ago. Um, where he'll just ask you if you want to donate it. You won't have to, like, make a donation individually. That's only if you have multiples. Anyway. Oh, crap. I forgot to give him my bugs. Well, let me just show off what I've caught. But I will keep giving shoutouts throughout this week, as I know I have more, but... As you can see, I get very scatterbrained when trying to remember things and stay on the right track when recording, so... Okay, there's... No... Wait a minute. Is that one? No, that's the cicada. Okay, hold on. What the heck? Where are these freaking bugs? I'm trying to show off. Oh, it's just the one beetle, I think, that's in here right now. I need to donate the tarantula. There's the horn dynastid. There's our penguin friend. Hello. There we go. That's the other beetle that I caught the other day. Which was yesterday. Can't even remember what day it was. The Miami Stag! So, just wanted to show that off. Okay, that was not nearly as interesting as it could have been had I donated these other bugs first, but we're gonna do that now. So after this, I'm going to just um, go to the shop, run and see if there's any cute furniture. Um, oh, I don't need to assess fossils. Why do I always wanna do that? Okay, boom. There we go. Yeah, I have several. They're amazing. Okay, good. 
<laughs> I cannot believe we caught that tarantula. Can you imagine if we caught the, um, the what you, what the heck is the name? The scorpion as well. I would have freaked out. I'm already freaked out. I, but I would have really freaked out if we had caught that too. I would have been like, no way. That is cray. Let's see what's over here today. I need to stop rhyming because it's not fun. I believe the tarantula hides out in this corner. There he is! Hiding out in the corner. Being all cool. When you have both of them, the tarantula and the... I always want to say centipede! Oh my god, the scorpion! Sorry, they battle in the corner. So that's pretty fun. Okay, so let's run to the store. See what's going on over there. And then we will just go ahead and close this out because we have a holiday to get to. It is the 4th of July when you're seeing this. And it is the 4th of July you want to celebrate. You guys, ha you're in for a treat today because that's, that's my holiday gift to you. For America's Independence, I am gifting all of you a really long episode of Animal Crossing complete with holiday fun and interaction. So, whoa! Okay, we're gonna talk to Sable again. Sable's like super easy to just work into our daily routine. All the other daily routine stuff I'm gonna take care of off screen. Oh, I like the, the big pop shirt or whatever it's called. Okay, nothing in there that I want. Oh man, this gray pet though. Oh yes, we might have to do it. Okay, let's see. I would like to try on. It looks absolutely ridiculous, so I'm gonna take it. No, I want to wait. I. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. Beautiful. So hot. What about these yellow glasses? Can I put those on too? I'd like to try them on so I can see what they. Oh my god. That does not look cute at all. Our stoner eyes do not work well with glasses. Now, my character from Wee Pimp, my personal town, she looks so much better with glasses than without. It's the weirdest thing, but it's true. Okay, last stop of the day before we're moving on to a holiday. Extravaganza. Let's go. Why, what is with the shape of this shop, by the way? <gasps> no, there's a polka dot bed and a lovely table. Oh, you know what I forgot to do yesterday? I forgot to buy the fishing rod. Whoops. Oh my gosh, yes, polka dot bed. I will take that action. I will take this table too, because I have all kinds of crap to put on it right now. Our house is going to be a really big dysfunctional mess, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Alrighty, so I will just put these in. Oh, wait a minute. We have not talked to him either. He's new. He's new up here. Okay. Welcome to the HA Showcase of Big Pimp. This is Digby. Ah. Oh, and he is Isabel's, I almost said sister, Isabel's brother. He is in charge of showing off other people's homes that you have street passed, which is super cool. And spot pass homes. So, uh, are you here to take a look at our, no, not at the moment. I'm sorry. I don't want to right now. But anyway, if you go, um, to the HA showcase, it's kind of like in city folk where you could get like balloons in the city and stuff like that that's where you can get those in new leaf so that's pretty fun pretty cool that's going to do it for this recording of this day this is going to be a super long episode of animal crossing new leaf i hope you guys don't mind but we got to get to the fourth of july so thanks so much for watching i will see you in a minute hey guys it's madam welcome to the fourth of july happy fourth of july every pimp i hope you are having a fabulous american holiday and I am going to get started with my town duties for today. This is going to be a very short day. I'm not even sure that anything is going on in town today. 
So, I don't know. We're gonna find out. But let's check our mail. And what's it like living on your own for the first time? I'm sending you a little housewarming gift from our mom. Cool. So let's go ahead and get this gift out. Um, okay. Palwania Closet? What? Okay, I guess we're gonna go take a gander at how this looks. So, I want to start off this recording session with another very special shout out to Leaf Penguin Returns, who designed my current channel banner. So, huge shout out to you, Leaf Penguin. You are awesome. Seriously? I don't think I've ever received this from my mom before in this game. But yay, now we have storage for our closet. So we're gonna go ahead and put our our paper in there. Yesterday, I sent Caesar's letter, so he hasn't written us back yet. I was hoping he would for today's 4th of July extravaganza, but oh well. But yeah, the fabulous channel art you're seeing currently at the time of this project, my channel banner was designed by Leaf Penguin Returns, a very talented artist. I was so excited to see that banner on DeviantArt months after the fact, months after it was posted, but it's just phenomenal. I love it. You're looking so you today, madam. What's the latest? I adore living alone. It seems like the grown-up thing to do, but I was so nervous when I arrived in town. Oh, Aww. Aww. She's friends with Barbara. That's so cute. So, unlike the other Animal Crossings, I feel like this particular Animal Crossing does not do anything special on 4th of July, which is really disappointing. But, you know, we're celebrating regardless because it is... A holiday. It is one of my favorite holidays because it is so shoot. Oh, I was too early. Crap. It is celebrating um, not only freedom, but for me personally, it celebrates summer. So now we're gonna go around with this amazing bee sting look. Luckily, beehives sell for 500 bells at retail. Okay, it doesn't look like we have gotten any new neighbors besides Bianca from what I can see on the map and something else I want to mention is the whole dual screen effect of this game because I know you guys are probably wondering you're probably like you know how are you gonna what do you what are your plans I mean at this point you've seen a lot of what the dual screen has to offer and kind of my rule that I've been going by is that this entire week, since it is the introductory week, I will be showing the dual screen every time there's a response, every time there are options, all that good stuff. I will be showing it off for you guys so you know what is going on in the game. But I think later on into the project, just for editing purposes, because it is very tedious to edit all the dual screen nonsense, I think I will be... Um, not even worrying about like just showing you that I said yes or I said no because my character nods or shakes her head anyway but just for the purpose of introducing this project I've decided I'm gonna show off everything in this first week and then kind of just go from there and I'll try to be as verbal about everything as possible as well so that way you guys aren't like guessing what's going on you can kind of see it like just have faith that I'm not gonna let you guys miss anything but that is something that is very very new for me as I have never had the dual screen issue with a project before so guess what I did I went for a walk and oh my god it was ant day there were ants everywhere flying around. I was like, oh my god! They're like landing on me. And I'm like swatting them away. But I was able to get some play coins so we can actually buy a fortune cookie today. So I wanted to show this off finally. As the shop upgrades, you're able to purchase more fortune cookies. But right now we just have the one available. And we get to eat it. So that's pretty fabulous. There was a fortune inside, let's see. Great artists aren't always appreciated in their own time. Number 51. Okay, well, 
Let's talk to Timmy. He's going to... Oh, I didn't even realize that. If you need my younger brother, Tommy, please come by on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday. That is so funny. I didn't realize they alternated at first. I just didn't pay any attention. Okay, so Timmy and Tommy give you the options. I want to sell. I got a lucky ticket. I'm okay, thanks. So we're going to... We're going to turn in our lucky ticket and see if it's a winning ticket. Even if it's not, you get a prize. So let's see what this is. Aha! Yay! Ooh, it's a Wii U! Oh, that's one of the newer prizes! That's awesome! So this will unlock a mini game within, within our house. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go over here to Nook's Homes. I want to see what the customization options are for today. And then this is going to be an extremely... Oh, we've got somebody new. Yes, madam, you have a most excellent sense of timing. Don't I? This is Happy Home Academy's host, Lyle. I don't care, go on and take. Hey you! Nice to meet ya! Me, like the raccoon said, I'm Lyle, the Happy Home Academy amazing pimp manager. And I'm gonna tell you that your home sucks or your home is awesome because I like to creep and just come inside your house without your permission. So that's pretty cool. So Lyle is here to give you tips for decorating your house, for getting a good score on your house, all that good stuff when it comes to theming a room and making your home as presentable as possible in the solely academic sense of Animal Crossing. So unless you're super creative and doing your own thing and you want to follow the rules of the game and like getting a perfectly matchy-matchy home, Lyle will love you. Otherwise, he'll be very confused. So, pretty cool. Okay. Oh, no new announcements. Alright, I'm gonna run around and see if there are any um, people moving in today. Oh, I could catch this bug. Yes! I caught a pill bug! I don't know, it seemed nice to me. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, what I started to say before we met Lyle is that I'm going to keep things extremely short today. Like, this is literally going to cap off today's Mondo episode. Because although today feels short, the episode is long. It's actually sh safer to run around with a shovel right now. No oh, I forgot about that. That was new in the update, too. Um, the update added where you can sit on rocks. Which is pretty fun. It's just cute. Because before you'd see animals like sitting on different strange objects and it was, you know, super adorable, but you couldn't do it. And now you can. Watch this be a pitfall. Oh good, it's not. Well, I guess I'll just dig up these fossils while we're running around looking for people. Seriously, no one's even out. And we've got the... The 7 p.m. music. Wait, this is the 7 p.m. music, right? Yes. I was gonna say, this isn't the 8 o'clock music. I feel like the 8 o'clock music is more exciting. First time I heard this music, I was like, this is such a, like, Sims building song. Like, you know how those songs in the original Sims sound kind of depressing? Like, the build music, so you just skip to, like, the shopping music because it was more exciting? That's kind of the story of this song for me. Like, I love it. It's really, really pretty, but yeah. There's also a freaking mosquito. Yes, caught him. I caught a mosquito! And I know I caught one of those off screen the other night as well, so that's why the encyclopedia didn't show up for that. Okay, this may be our... Ooh, we can trick a neighbor! Okay, good. I'm just picking all these dead flowers, too. Alright, anyone down here besides you? I know Igly was up at the in the other part of town there. 
All right, cool. Well, I think what I'm going to do is go to the campgrounds, see who is there today, if we've got anybody new. And I can show off the Wii U console next time because that is going to take a while. And those mini games are kind of going to be an episode within, um, or episodes within themselves. Well, look at you all dancing and happy. Man. Okay. Oh, what is this place? What can I do here? Do you have Wi Fi? Hey, a harv. Never mind. Okay. I just wanted to show off those options. There's a watermelon that we can purchase. Oh my god. What? Freaking five? Giving you my five for a watermelon? Screw you, dude. Alright, I believe this is somebody we have not met yet. So we'll say hi and then we will say goodbye for this episode. Oh my god, why are you playing this music, weirdo? Welcome, Pascal! When do I look at the camera? When do I look? Hi, what a surprise! Hey man, do you like live in this town? That was pretty far out place. Okay, well, you're weird. I dig traveling like this, but nothing harshes my mellow faster than getting lost, man! Whatever, you don't know how to use GPS. You're like jumping into bridges and crap. Oh, he has a music box. It's seriously playing the same song. This is the most obnoxious song, seriously. Okay, uh, sea view, ship deck, beach chair, large bookshelf. This is the weirdest RV I've ever seen. The treasure chest is pretty cool. Um, I should mention that when you order any of these items from uh, the RVs, you can only order three at a time, so be choosy. Alright, I've got to get out of here, because you are weird. Oh wait, I should read his bio. A philosopher who dispenses pearls of hippie wisdom while collecting literal scallops. Sit at the campfire with this guy if you want your mind blown, dude! That is the weird- and you thought my bios were weird. That's even weirder. Interesting. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys have a very exciting, happy 4th of July and stay safe. I hope you've enjoyed this extra long episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. I will see you tomorrow, July 5th for another actual full day not several days chopped into pieces and that's gonna do it all right guys this has been madame wario peace out pimps